Alaska Performance Partners. Count on performance, not promises. Hey everyone, it's Alex Nance with Jack White Real Estate again. Hey, so I want to take a second to talk to you today about contingencies and why they are important in the contract and what they even mean. So a contingency in a contract is pretty much a clause that states a certain condition has to be met in order for, by the buyer or the seller in order for the deal to move forward. There's tons of them that can go into a contract, but the two big things that you see in there is a financial contingency that states that the buyer will um, be qualified for a loan to be able to get a mortgage in order to pay for the house. It protects the buyer just in case, you know, they fall out of the loan or the writing doesn't approve it for them, um, that they can pull out a deal without any negative penalty happening to them. Um, so that's one big contingency. Obviously, for the seller side, it's a good thing because it shows that the buyer is qualified to be able to buy the house. Um, another really common one that you see is the home inspection contingency. This is based on a home inspection that the buyer gets done and it just states that as long as everything looks clean or the, the seller agrees to the repairs, um, that they can move forward with that deal based off of the contingencies from that. Another common one that you might see in some is in case of a buyer is currently selling their home. They could have a contingency that states that they will purchase the home upon their other home entering contract. And this will help protect the buyer so they're not paying two mortgages at one time so that that way, you know, they'll sell their other house and then base this house they're going to buy off of off of that one. It gives a lot of leeway on both sides. It helps, like I said, protect the buyer just so they don't have to double up payments on their mortgage and they can, you know, sell their house and then move into this one. So a quick, smooth, easy transaction. And then as opposed for the seller, a lot of times it gives them the option to either accept another offer in the meantime while they're waiting on it or because normally you'll put in the offer with the contingency that you're going to sell your other home and upon waiting for that home to enter contract as well you may uh, the seller may accept an offer from somebody else who has a better offer during that time as long as your house hasn't gone into contract yet so contingency works on both ways it helps protect the buyer helps protect the seller and it just helps an overall smooth real estate transaction go forward pretty easy so yeah, I think that's just about it for it. Otherwise, again, my name is Alex Nanos. If you have any questions about real estate related or anything related, honestly, my number is 907-748-7995. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.